Hello and welcome. Today, I'll give you a quick demonstration of how you can get started with Molly Connect by creating your own OAuth app and then connecting a customer to that app. To get started, we'll need to create the app from within our dashboard. So we go to the developer settings and then your apps. And from here, we can create an application. All we need to create this is a name, a description and a redirect URL. And the redirect URL is the address that your user will be redirected to after they choose to either authorize or reject your app. You also have the option to co-brand this by adding your own logo or theming to the page so that it just looks and feels a little bit more like your own application. So I'll go ahead and click save. And then you'll see that I am returned with a client ID and a client secret. And I need both of these credentials to generate the set of access tokens, uh, which I'll then use to operate the customer's account and create API requests. Uh, and also in the next step, which is when I construct a link, which I can then share with my customer to connect to the app that we just created. So I'll go and jump into Postman where I'll show you how to construct that link. And then we'll walk through what that looks like when a customer actually clicks and connects with your app. So you can see I have this link here, uh, which is provided by Molly. And then I'll need to construct this link by adding a few more parameters to it. So I need to include the client ID, which we just received after creating the app, as well as the scopes or the list of permissions that my app will get if the customer chooses to authorize with it. Uh, there are a couple of other things you can also configure here. Um, so for more details, please check out the docs, uh, but I'll go ahead and construct that link and then we can show you what it looks like from your customer's perspective. So jumping into a different browser session, I've actually already logged into an account, so I'm prompted to connect straight away. But if I didn't have an active session, I'd also be prompted to log in or alternatively to sign up. So I'll go ahead and connect my test account to this app. And then I'm redirected back to the redirect URL that we specified when we created the app. So in Postman, I'll quickly show you how you can use this auth code to generate that set of credentials. One thing to note is that you need to use the client ID and client secret that was generated from creating the app uh, to authorize this request. And we'll also need to fetch the auth code uh, that we got when the customer was redirected back to the redirect URL. And you'll see in return, I get a set of access and refresh tokens. So the access token expires after one hour, after which you'll need to use the refresh token and send another request to obtain a new access token. Uh, and these will both need to be stored somewhere within our application. From there, you can basically go ahead and perform any actions within the scope that was defined. So one more thing to just note is that after a customer has clicked connect and has authorized with your application, you'll also see them listed here on the clients page. Uh, and if you have the correct scopes, you'll also be able to click one level deeper and view uh, additional information such as where they are in their onboarding journey, uh, which profiles they've configured, and then which payment methods have been configured and what is the status of those payment methods within each profile, which can be useful if you need to help with troubleshooting or anything like that. So just to summarize, uh, we've created an OAuth app, we've connected a customer to that app, and we've also generated a set of tokens which we can now use to start to create API requests on behalf of that customer. All right, that's a wrap. Thank you.